So I've got a question about the drum shotguns. Are they meant to be this overpowered? Because the thing is just way too efficient at taking people out in close range combat. The fire rate is insanely high, the damage is also high, the magazine is high. I mean this thing is just way too strong. It does need a nerf, doesn't it? I will say there are some scenarios where the drum shotgun isn't that useful because I'm just panicking the entire time. Like right here the guy was in a bush and I just ran into him and I was just panicking the entire time. So obviously the shotgun was just, it was kind of useless. But that's mostly because I was useless as well. Oh also, can we talk about how you can get unfortunate timing in no builds mode? Because if you're surrounded by a bunch of people and you have like no cover, you by force need to engage in a fight and if you win, well there's gonna be a bunch of people that will just rush in and third party you. Especially with the shockwave uh, grenades, they just jump right on top of you. Like right here, I killed the guy and I'm sliding down because I just want to get to cover and I run into this guy. So I was already just like a bit upset. I'm trying to get to cover and yeah, you'll be surprised what happens. Yeah, I got shot in the back. Maybe not that surprising, but it's more infuriating than anything. Oh yeah, and then there was this person over here. I'm still not sure what they were trying to do, but I'm guessing they were trying to ambush me while sitting in the passenger seat of the car. I mean, it kind of worked, but not really. I also want to mention real quick the thermal scope sniper. This is kind of a good gun and kind of not. It might just be me because I'm on mobile, but the thing is pretty good sometimes, but the damage is just way too low. I mean, you've got 28 damage, single fire, you could just use an AUG and it'll do, what is it, like 30 damage per shot? And most times you land 2-3 shots in a row? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit better than this thing. I kind of stopped using it after a while just because it was so weak. It's honestly kind of useless, to be honest. But in its defense, it's still a lot better than the Ranger. I mean, as far as I know, the Ranger is probably the worst AR in the game. The main thing that sucks about it is just the fire rate. I mean, especially when you compare it to the AUG, the MK, even the Thermal, they're all just much better than the Ranger just because of the fire rate. With the Ranger just being so slow, it genuinely ends up being the main reason that you end up dying and losing gunfights. I mean, if you go up against someone that's got an MK, yeah, no, by the time you shoot your third or fourth bullet, they've already dished out like 20 bullets at you. It's just a bit too much. Oh, and one last thing. While we're on the topic of fire rate, I want to mention that the Combat SMG is probably the only balanced weapon that was released this season. And even though it does have high fire rate, high damage, it also seems to have a lot of recoil. And even though I haven't noticed this myself, a lot of people that play on console and PC say that the recoil is kind of hard to manage at times. So, you know what? Shout out to the Combat SMG for being probably the only balanced weapon to be released this season. <laughs>